Hey, hey everybody. So today we're going to talk a little bit more about the pigeonhole principle. Hopefully in lecture, you guys have seen a more formal definition and had the chance to play around with that. So today we're hopefully going to go through an example that's going to build a little bit more on the intuition side. So using the 26 letters in the English alphabet. So getting started, we're going to create a set A, and that's going to be our set with the 26 letters of the English alphabet. And as aforementioned, there's 26 letters. So the cardinality of that set would actually be 26. Getting started with the first part, how many words do we need to make sure at least two begin with the same letter? So if we're thinking about pulling words from our set, in the worst case, which is what we're gonna be thinking about a lot when it comes to this question, is that we could create 26 words that each started with a different letter of the alphabet, right? I would create one word that starts with an A, one with a B, all the way to a Z. And then I'd be able to form a set with 26 words and each of them start with a different letter. However, after we have these 26 words, if I were to grab any word or form any word from the set, that 27th word is guaranteed to create a double because it's the case that every single one, every single letter is already a starting point in our set. If we were to create, add any more words to the set, we would create a double. So in this case, we'd actually be looking at 27 as our answer. Now applying a similar logic with number two, what is the smallest number of words we need to make sure at least three begin with the same letter? Well, the idea that we talked about before still applies. We could grab 26 letters and it's guaranteed that every single one of them could create a distinct word, meaning that we have no overlaps in terms of the starting characters. Now, if we applied that again, we could grab 52, which would be 26 plus 26. And now we would have 52 words. And it's the case where only two of them share the same starting letter for every single one meaning we have two words that start with an A, two words that start with a B, all the way to two that start with a Z. However, if we were to create one more word and add it into our set, it is guaranteed that we will now have three that begin with the same letter. Because of the fact that we had two for every single letter, adding one more guarantees that whatever letter we added now has three. So in total, we would, in the worst case, we'd be able to grab 53 to guarantee that we have at least three beginning with the same letter. Now. For the third part, what is the greatest number of words we could have with less than four words starting with the same letter? This is a little bit on the trickier end. So if we have less than four words, one way we could decipher this is mathematically, if we're working with integers, x is less than four would be equivalent to x is less than or equal to three. And that's only in the case where we're working with integers. So saying less than four words, we could instead solve this problem for at most three words, right? So applying a similar philosophy, we would first create our 26 where we have all distinct starting letters, add another 26. And now it's the case where we have for each letter, there's exactly two words that start with it. And if we were to add another 26, we can now have exactly three words in our set would start with every single letter of our alphabet. However, suppose we added one more. Well, then now we would have one, one letter that occurred four times with a starting letter. And in that case, that would violate our condition of less than four. So as such, we're no longer able to add any more words into our set. So summing this up, our total would become 78. Hopefully this question helped a little bit with developing some more on the intuition side with regards to the pigeonhole principle. Thanks for watching.